Let's begin the uh, somewhat boring but very crucial heat test. Crucial because we need the no to know if the electronics will actually hold up right now in Kent uh, at 4 p.m. 67 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the ambient temperature. Um, for the test, I have this Menker 4800 milliamp hour cell fully charged in the light. All right, there we go. We're starting at 67 degrees, and it's also 67 Fahrenheit ambient temperature, so we're pretty good there. And immediately we can see the temperature rising. The light engine we have in the light right now, as you know, is a quad white two with thermal, uh, all the thermal protection sensor all turned off, so it's always on max brightness. It's likely pushing around uh, 3,000 lumen at turn on and whatever else. All right, so very good reading. Temperature steadily rising. Several people quoted, uh, oh, well, they guessed that it's gonna last three minutes until it's too hot to hold. That's what I figured too, but we're already at almost two minutes and <laughs> it's barely warm, so I think we're good. We might, we will likely surpass three minutes. Two minutes. A little warmer, but you know, very comfortable still. And uh, as you can see here, this uh, Etec City Laser Grip Model 774, I got it on Amazon for relatively cheap, under 20 bucks. So how accurate? We don't know, but at least we can kind of see the relative temperature changes. But I think it's, it's not too bad because it read initially at 67 degrees and I guess the light felt like 67 degrees and the amber uh, ambient temperature is 67. So, yep, just warm but nothing bad at all. Oh, we're hitting the three minute mark and it's just no problem. I will probably, uh, at some point, I'm sure it's gonna get too hot to hold and out, uh, I will be, uh, I'll be quite a distant away just to be safe because we're planning to run this test continuously until the voltage sag enough that it's, heat is no longer an issue. Warm, but not bad at all. Very much safe to continue to use. Right about three and a half minute mark now. And notice I have the laser or uh, the proximity of the sensor pointed right around the neck area because that's where the light engine sits. And that's why there are fins there and it helps heat sink the light. The O-rings are not installed as you know, they were torn off with the drive overs. Ah, this is really comfortable warm, nothing bad at all. Wow, four minutes, so this is really, really good. But we can see temperature still steadily rising. If I had to guess at this point, it's probably going to take another three, four minutes. Well, maybe let's say two more minutes until it gets to the point where I would say it's too hot to handle. Right now it's warm. It's hot if you leave your hand on it for a while. I don't want to hold it too long because my hand is kind of like a radiator that cools it down and I don't want to rob heats away from it. The heat hasn't yet make it down to the tail cap. The tail cap is still cold. Five minute mark. Nope, not bad at all. 
This is very impressive, actually. Because I was guessing three minutes just like several other members. Nope. Not yet. Still good. And when I say still good, I mean it's still safe to operate the light. Not a problem. You know what? We might even hit the eight minute mark. Let's see if getting my hand near the light will change the way the meter read. It does, huh? Huh, a little bit, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Did it? Yeah, a little bit. So, I guess we'll take it for what it's worth. Nope. It's funny because it got warm to a point and then it's just not that much hotter. All right, so let me feel the light throughout and I'll try my best to describe how hot each part of the light is. All right, now the neck is getting hot. The head is hot. All right, so I would say six minutes and th uh, we're at 645 right now. Still good. Uh, I think we can probably make it to seven minutes. All right, so seven minutes is where I would say that is the safety point at this temperature, at an ambient temperature of, you know, 67, 70 degrees. That's a good time to throttle back. So if you were to be operating this light right now, throttle back, turn it down a couple level, let the light cool down. But seven minute is where I would say is the uh, magic number for this specific light engine, quad W2. It's very, it's hot for sure, but it's not bad, but it's no longer safe in my opinion. And the light temperature is still continuing to rise. Light still seem as bright as it was. At some point when it's extremely hot, just touching the light, then I will uh, likely back up a little bit and just let it take its course. I'm sitting here blabbering so you don't have to uh, listen to the rain, but you know, actually the rain might be more interesting. So uh, after several back and forth last night, uh, actually, uh, last night and this morning with um, Larry, the person behind um, at the shop, the, the design at the, sh at the shop for this light, he was saying that this is actually 6061 aluminum, not even to, uh, 2011. So, a very soft aluminum. And so, we were both surprised that 6061 made it this far. But as, you know, if 6061 made it this far, I can't imagine how good 70, 75 would be. Because he's, he's claiming that 60, um, a 70, 75 would take a 9mm, no issue. And at this point, I just got to try it, okay? I just got to try it. When the production 70, 75 comes in, we, we definitely got to shoot at it. And I just spoke with a military friend today, and he said that he have access to a military vehicle much heavier than regular uh, vehicles that we have here, much heavier than my truck, obviously. And we're going to run over it again with, run over it with a military vehicle. We'll find out exactly what vehicle and how much weight later. But um, it will be very interesting to run over the uh, 7075. And we'll probably shoot that one. I still want to shoot this one just to see how 6061 hold up versus 70 75 and if there is a discernible difference this is weird it's hot but it's not like 
you know, burning hot. So we're at 10 minutes. But again, this is just a test to prove that the electronics can handle heat a lot better than us, our skin. As a safety measure, you have to, uh, according to my Skylumen purchase agreement, you have to always monitor your heat, the heat with bare hands. And if the light is too hot to hold, uh, you got to throttle back, okay? This test is only to prove that the electronics can take the heat. Yep, it's hot now. 135 Fahrenheit. At this point, I think it's hot enough that if I want to handle it, I would have to pass it back and forth between my hand. And uh, I was going to go with the Ace Beam 5100 milliamp hour, but I just don't have one fully charged and I don't want to wait. I wanted to start this test now. So I went with the, uh, the, uh, the Manker 4800 milliamp hour. I'm not sure which one is higher drain. We'll find out later, but it's a good sell. So according to the sensor here, 131.7, 131.6, it seems like at roughly the 11 minute mark, there is enough voltage sag that the light temperature is actually dropping. 130.7 130.6 okay so i guess we did learn that uh at least with a quad w2 light engine the light will get too hot to hold at about seven minute and right about the 11th minute mark the light will start to cool back down due to voltage sag yep the light is definitely uh a little cooler than when it was a minute or two ago or at least it feels that way okay this is great to see I learned something new right about the 11th minute mark the battery dropped enough the voltage sag enough that uh, we uh, possibly have a really high lumen drop therefore less heat But uh, yeah, 67 degrees ambient temperature is a fair temperature, representing most places. I imagine if you're at a colder place, you can run it longer. But if you're, say, uh, in the Middle East or somewhere in Africa, it won't be seven minutes. It's pro it will probably be three or four minutes if the ambient temperature is like 100 degrees or even less. But if you're in Alaska... I don't know, you might even be able to run it non-stop because it might, the ambient temperature might be cold enough that it'll run non-stop. All right, so 125.6. Very nice to see the light ramp up in temperature and then ramp down. So we really know the whole entire graph, so to speak. All right, so I'm gonna stop at the 15th minute mark, okay? We're at 14 now. This should conclude this specific test. I will have to think of more extreme heat tests, but we know at least the circuitry can handle the heat. No problem. I'm never worried about the circuitry. Reliability is only the safety of burnt measure. At the end of the day, still a light. Who cares if it breaks? You know, human safety, that's more important. All right, so good news, good news. Seven minute and 11 minute. That's the two big number. Later, guys.